Hello, it's Molly Reamer with 30 Days of Goddess in Bridget's Grove, and this is just a quick little video overview of my February prep. I do find it's really helpful and centering and nourishing for me personally to set the month aside that has just passed and mindfully and intentionally like step into the new month. So I know that different systems work for different people. I do have a annual planner that I use as well, but this is not a planner. This is more, uh, this is a practice. This is a process. This is a practice. This is a living spirituality and an unfolding. And so for me, the prep for the next month is a way of recommitting, re-engaging, re-stepping into, and really re-inspiring and re-enthusing myself. And so I really enjoy the prep. And also I love the reflection of going from this to this. <laughs> so Anyway, I just wanted to show you real quick the things that I get ready in the new prayer book as the month winds down. So as January is winding down and I'm finishing up my prayer book for that month, that's another reason why I can't do an annual prayer book because it would be, it would weigh 50 pounds and be <laughs> extremely large. And uh, so laying that one aside and getting the new one started. So I have my... I have the snapshot cards. And just a reminder, if you go to 30daysofgoddess.com, the initial snapshot cards are available to you there for free, as well as a, I have mine cut up already, but there's a sampler pack of quote unquote goddess stickers. You have to print them out yourself and glue them down. So they're not really stickers, but they're kind of stickers, little tiny mini affirmation cards and prayer cards as well that you can use in your prayer book. And you can use a prayer book that you make yourself. You can use a notebook. You can use a whole giant binder or annual book that covers all the months you can do what you can use these materials in a system another system that you're already using you don't have to have a dedicated 30 days of goddess practice necessarily and so these cards are available to you there this month the goddess guidance club packet with our featured goddess who is bridget is available to you free as well. These are usually a benefit for the Goddess Magic community on Patreon, but in honor of Bridges Day and our 10th anniversary of Bridges Grove, the packet is free for you. And so that includes some fun stuff as well as a bookmark to honoring Bridges. So I have those things ready. Then I have my affirmation graphics for the month all cut up. And this is, you know, this can be pretty soothing. I sit with my kids while they're working on their homeschooling or uh, while I'm listening to an audiobook or whatever and cut up my things. I keep them, I keep the cut up ones in this cute little pouch. Oops, I don't think I can open it one-handed. This cute little pouch that Penny, ah, I can't. <laughs> Good thing I had them out. Um, this cute little mushroom pouch that Penny Hyde made. I keep them in there. And then I have this little pouch, which is actually a business card holder, but I keep my words my word cards and my daily prayer cards in there. So I get them all set up. And I know sometimes, and that's why I hesitate to show you all my prep sometimes because I don't want people to feel like this is something that they have to do. I find it a really rewarding and integrative process of really kind of, it, it brings everything together into one place. So I don't find it overwhelming or stressful. I find it very empowering and powerful. And so just a reminder to you that you can use bits and pieces and, and uh, do things the way that works for you. Daily practice is about creating space for the sacred in yourself in your own life. And it's about creating 30 days of goddess is about creating a practice that actually fits your life. It's not a prescription or something that tells you what you have to do. It reminds us in fact, that daily practice and our spiritual practices are here to hold us, are here to replenish us, not to tell us what to do or stress us out. And then I also have my packet. So I was the keynote speaker at GGG, Gaia Goddess Gathering this year. And one of the things I did there is gave everybody these oracle card packets to assemble together using the Story Goddess Oracle. They have some messy affirmations on the back. They're from Amanda Fall. Otherwise, the other cards and things are things that I've made. And... Uh, so there were some leftovers from my keynote. So everybody got one at the end and we, we made them together. And then there were some leftovers and I kept 12 of the leftovers. I sent some away to my wonderful Goddess Magic patrons for their solstice surprise. But then I um, kept 12 of them and then I'm choosing one for, for each month to be my card. So I will end up coloring her and then she'll move through the book with me along with my Bridget card. I really like these because they are kind of like a miniature ritual in one if you put them all together like that. And so, like I said, make pockets in the front with the snapshot cards in the back 
my back is slightly more, oh wait, I have something else, which is, I actually, I had made a typo in the book with Bewitch. I had Betwitch instead. So luckily I have my sampler pack. And so I just printed out the copy and glued it in. A reminder that you can pretty much do this with any edition of any of the prayer books is you can print out the current month's prompts and glue them into a book or you can glue them into a blank notebook. You can glue them in wherever you want to and uh, you're kind of ready to go. And then I made a pocket with the theme of the month is Inspire and I made a pocket in here and I put all my little cutout runes in the pocket. So they are ready to draw one for each day. And those, if you buy a printed prayer book, the runes are in the back for you to cut out along with the prayer cards and the miniature affirmation cards and things like that. It's really intended to be kind of a grab and go setup practice so that you don't need a lot of extra supplies or fancy things in order to create that daily practice that fits your life. Then I have this card in the back that this was a solstice card from Karen Glennon West, who's one of our patrons and very involved with 30 Days of Goddess. And I've been wanting to use it for something. And I decided to just go ahead and stick it in here, even though it's quote unquote sideways. I still like it that way. And then I have our simple and sacred affirmation prayer in there. And then the other snapshot cards made into pockets where I have things stored. And so I am now all ready to go for February. And then I also do have these, uh, my little Bridget mini prayer book. This is also part of the kit that's available for you for free this month, Goddess Guidance Club. And there's a miniature version that's from Joanna Powell Colbert. I'm taking her nine days of Bridget. And uh, so I've made my little, my little devotional prayer book. And then there's an even tinier version in there <laughs> for fun which has tiny versions of the cards, including a tiny little packet, which that is just for fun. Nobody has to be as extra as all that unless they want to be, but that is fun for me as well. And then I do have my February inspiration guidebook as well. If you're a member of the Goddess Magic community on Patreon, you will, I do a, a weekly live on Mondays, kind of live community practice. I offer these community guidebooks for your practice and uh, there's lots of good stuff. You get a post, a, a weekly divination video, a post every day of the week pretty much in the Goddess Magic community to continue to support and encourage you in your practices. So this one is ready to do. I also do a weekly journal card a, uh, and a weekly poem card. So you, there's all kinds of things that you get in that community that help to nourish, support, and encourage you really on a daily basis. And so I have my guidebook all ready to go too. This is the one I got printed at. I get printed at Staples. It has daily pages in the back and then it also has additional support materials for our whole month of practice. So that is the one I'm working on. I have my cards in the back waiting to color from Leslie Braginski and everything is ready to go. So that is my February process, my February prep process, getting ready for a month of inspiration and delight. So thank you so much for, for being here and make sure to go to 30daysofgoddess.com for your free resources. And if you would love, I would love to have you join us in devotional community and community practice at patreon.com slash bridges or slash goddess magic. And so lots of good things to share there. So thanks so much for being here. Welcome to February. May it be alive with enchantment and rich with inspiration. Keep living your magic. Bye-bye.